A lot of people like to sleep in, but could more shut eye actually help high school kids in the classroom? That's what school officials are trying to figure out. So right now, students at Kaimuki High School start school at 9 in the morning, much later than students at other schools. But the DOE is looking into starting other schools later as well to also help ease the traffic congestion. And to help offset the recent shortage of bus drivers, too. So how will it all work and how do students, parents, and teachers all feel about it? Manolo Morales tonight getting you answers. The principal here tells me that it's worked very well so far, but he points out that not all schools will benefit from starting later. Kaimuki High School is now in its third year of starting the school day at 9 instead of 7.50. For students, getting that extra hour of sleep is a no-brainer. I love it. Why do you love it? Because I don't have to wake up so early and I'm not tired for school. Parents don't seem to mind the later start either. Uh, her temper is much better, you know, so she uh, has time to do her, um, you know, makeup, <laughs> her hair, What about pretty to go to school, you know. Traffic-wise, is it traffic better? Traffic-wise, uh, I think it's better, way better. They have enough time to sleep, and I have time to sleep too. DOE officials feel it can also help with the school bus driver shortage because drivers can drop off more students with the staggered start times. There's a really strong push right now for high schools to start at 9 o'clock, for example, which would solve a big part of our problem as well. The principal at Kaimuki High tells me he would not recommend the later start for younger students, but for high schools, it's been very beneficial. He says tardiness has been reduced dramatically. When we started at 7.50, we saw a lot of tardies, a lot of tardiness, a lot of tardiness just, you know, not really late, just between 7.50 and probably 8.30. With the 9 o'clock start, the day ends at 2.50, not much later than the previous schedule, but Wednesdays are no longer half days. Araki says teachers like it because they still start at 7.50 and get their meetings done in the morning instead of at the end of the day. He's received positive comments from parents and, most importantly, the students. The kids reported in a survey last year that they feel more awake, got to get more sleep, and that it would impact, it, it's a positive impact on their ability to study. No word yet on which other schools would get the late start and when. We'll keep you updated. Manolo Morales, KHON 2 News.